Hey everybody, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me for this week's Friday haul. It is Friday, December 10th. I hope everybody had a great week. Mine was very good, busy doing, you know, stuff for Christmas like everybody else probably. Um, my daughter came home from college and my son is coming home this weekend too. So it'd be good to have the four of us back together again. And yeah, I got some great stuff this week. I have quite a bit of things, so I do want to jump in pretty quickly, but I do want to say hi. And um, yeah, I would love to hear what you think about today's haul so don't forget to leave me a comment down below and like and subscribe if you don't mind so okay let's go on um i have jumped on to the wood stamp craze and like i said last week i'm trying to stick to um just christmasy finds i do have let's see i have one stamp that i got that's not christmasy but um i had ordered that just because i love it so you know if I love it, I'm going to get it anyway. So, um, so I got a couple things from the secondary market from eBay. I got this one that actually just came in today. Isn't that cute? It's a little stocking that says love, joy, and peace. And it's got two candy canes and a star hanging from a pine branch and an orange. Um, I always got an orange in my stocking when I was a kid. My kids always get them in their stockings as well. This one is, uh, it's called Sandy Stocking. It's by Sandy Gore Evans. And um, there is not a year, I don't think, on it. No. But uh, that's a number in case you're interested. And it's by Uptown Rubber Stamps. And it looks like um, it looks like it was used, but it's in very good condition. So yeah, I picked that up, and it was very reasonable price. Actually, I think I made an offer on it, and the seller took the offer. Speaking of reasonable prices, I got this. This was all for five dollars from Marketplace because they had free shipping. These two came with it. I didn't really want them, but. Um, they're uh, holly leaf and holly berries. They're just kind of big. I don't know. Maybe I'll use them in something, but I might just end up, you know, destashing them or donating them or something. But I, I got this set for these. Um, this one is a little mini Christmas tree from Stampin' Up! And it's from 1998. And look how tiny it is. It's so tiny. And I love that it it's, it looks like a, like a little feather tree, you know? Let me see if you can see that. So really cute and tiny. I thought it would be cute on a tag or like on the back of a card. This was the main reason I got it. You've probably seen this stamp around if you've been looking at wood stamps. Also 1998 Stampin' Up. Um, yeah, these are not, I don't know, these might have been in an original set together, but these definitely were not. They just came in the same lot. But uh, it looks like it was probably used also, but not very much, and it was taken care of well. So, yeah, isn't that gingerbread cute? I love his little face. So, yeah, five bucks for those four I thought was a good deal. And then I placed an order from IO Stamps, which is Impression Obsession. I was watching a video by Anna, who is Anna White. Hi, Anna, if you're watching. She had ordered some stamps from there. This is the first time I've ordered from them, and it's it's nice that you can order wood stamps if you want, you know, have them mounted on wood. And I like that because it has a design on the other side, and you can display them. And that's, I really like displaying wood stamps. That's why, oh, the main thing for me. Um, okay, so this is one I got that she had gotten. It's a little to and from, and I just love the font and the little hearts that are there. So that's what it looks like. And yeah, it's called to and from. I will leave a link to the Impression Obsession, Impression Obsession website. This one, isn't this cute? It's like um, a basket full of cookies and it has gingerbread men and trees and bells and stars. And it's got like some uh, greenery back there too, maybe some candy canes. So I thought this was so cute. I haven't seen people haul this one, but um, I just love it. And I can't wait to try it out and uh, make it look like a basket of cookies. So yeah, I got that one. And then this is the one I got that wasn't Christmassy, but it's a beautiful apron that's got like gorgeous roses on it. It's got like some scallop trim on the pocket, some stitching, a little hand towel hanging out the pocket. It's got a button there and buttons on the on the um, necktie thingy. So I just love this and I love aprons. I wear them all the time because I'm messy. I, I think I mentioned that before. So anyway, that's what I got from Impression Obsession. Um, stamp wise I got a couple dies too I picked up this one which is called um oh 
I'm sure it says it right here, right? Um, I don't know. Well, that's the number of it. It's like called Pine Sprigs or something. Um, but Anna said this is one of her favorite all-time dyes. And it's got these little eight little pine sprigs <clears throat> with pine cones too. So I could see that being very useful to add to tags or to cards or embellishments. So I got that. <clears throat> and then I got this candle set, which I thought was so cute. I don't think I have any candle dyes. And lots of times when I just, I like to doodle and I draw candles that look exactly like this. So I thought it would be so nice to have it as a die. It's called Chunky Candle and these are the pieces that it comes with. I haven't gotten around to cutting it out yet. Okay, yeah, see that one has the name Chunky Candle and this one does not have a name under the number, but uh, I'll link it down below just in case you want to find it quickly. So that was my order from Impression Obsession. They also sent me these freebies, which was really nice. So they sent me three unmounted red rubber stamps. And this one looks like script. I don't know what it says, if it says anything really, but I'll stamp it out and test it. So that was nice. And then there's this one, which I am not sure what this is. I'm thinking it's either like, I don't know. I'm thinking like drumsticks here, but uh, it doesn't look like drums. Maybe like a Christmas pudding or something. I don't know. If you know what that is before I stamp it, let me know, okay? Because there's no details on it either, so I don't know if stamping will help it. And then in the freebie package was this cute little bunny. I thought that was so cute, right? And it's got like a cutout here so you could add like a pom-pom or something. So cute. Perfect for upcoming spring holidays. And then the freebies also came with these pumpkins. So cute little pumpkins. How nice, right? It's so nice to get freebies, especially when you don't expect them. It's like a, a little gift from them to me. So, all right. So that was officially the end of my impression obsession order and uh, my first time ordering from there, but I definitely liked it a lot. So I will probably be ordering that from them again. So let me just move these guys over. I got, um, I went to Michael's. They finally had the uh, holiday spice paper pad in stock. And I got a few other things too. Let me, I gotta move this. Okay, hang on. All right, I picked up this pack of specialty cardstock. They had a few different kinds, and this was $5.99, I believe. It comes with 25 sheets, five sheets of each. So I, I slit the package open just to, you know, get started a little bit, but I wanted to open it with you to see what it was like. Okay, this is a nice, thick, chunky glitter but it doesn't rub off, which is nice. So that's that's really pretty. A nice like classic gold, not a yellow gold. And then it also comes with this plaid that I really liked. And this, okay, that's a nice weight too. I would not, I'm not sure what kind of weight that is. Doesn't really feel as heavy as 65 pounds. I don't know, maybe it is. Close to that anyway. And then it also comes with um, red, black, and green too. So good for Christmas crafting or anytime you need those colors. So I got that. And then for holiday spice, they still have, or they had anyway, the buy one, get two free. So I actually got two of the holiday spices just because, well, I really like it. And also I didn't really see much else that I had to have. So I figured since I really like this, I might as well get it. So let's do a quick flip through. It's 24 designs, probably two of each. And I opened it, but I did not flip through it yet. So this, it has gold foiling. It's got like a kind of a maroon, orangey maroon, rusty background color. <laughs> has that for a description. Okay, so there's two of those. And then this is really pretty. It's kind of like a watercolor greenery page with uh, like cranberries or berries on it wintery berries and then there's that gingerbread cookie page i have some ephemera like this um, i got baking wrappers like cupcake wrappers with this print on it so it's nice to actually have the paper in it too so two of those right one two yeah and then here are some cut aparts there are tags this is so cute it says gingerbread wishes and mistletoe kisses um, I love the foiling on these. They're just really, really pretty. Uh, I love these tags too in the middle. 
So two of those. And then this. Oh, this is, I love like dried fruits like this with the um, star anise in them. I could just totally picture what this would smell like, you know, if it was uh, like orange and spices and apples. And then, oh, look at this page. These are cut apart. These are six by sixes. And oh, these are beautiful. Hot and fresh cider, gingerbread baking company, fresh cut Christmas trees, holiday market. I could totally see this in a mini album. Oh yeah, I love these. Or just cards, you know, instant cards. And then here is like a sage green background with snowflakes. Useful in any Christmas project. And then here's like a layout page with beautiful flowers in the two corners and some foiling. Oh, and this is a like a gingham too, which is nice. And it, then here's this giant graphic page, Home Sweet Gingerbread Home. I got to figure out a way to frame this. If anyone knows where you can get a 12 by 12 frame, like not expensive, can you let me know? I wonder where they have those. Okay, and then this, oh, this is so pretty with the uh, with the trees and the in the um, baskets and buckets and stuff. Oh, I'm so glad I have this paper now to match the other things I have. And then we have this botanicals page. Really nice plaid. Actually, I think I have fabric in exactly this plaid. Oh. And then we have some gold vines on a dark green background. And then this layout page with all the different like fruits and spiced um, things, <laughs> spiced fruits, cookies, mm. and a nice like pink background, which is unusual. And then this page has, let me pull it up so you can see it a little bit better. It's got the deer and trees, the fruit wreaths, very pretty. So two of those, oops, let me move back up. And some more cut aparts. These have the strips and some tags. Oh, I just love this. Love the palette. Love the plaid here. Speaking of that plaid, there we go. Got a whole page or two of it. Thank you, Recollections. Ooh, and recipe cards. I didn't know these were in here. Very nice. Oh, this would be great to attach to... Um, a Christmas gift of like cookies or something or to make like a recipe booklet for somebody and you have two of them so you can use two 12 recipes another pretty layout page I would totally cut this apart and use like half or a quarter of this as a background for a card and then all of these tags which is really really nice easy to cut with your paper trimmer and then you have instant tags Good to add to your packaging. There's a big 12 by 12 Merry Christmas. That's pretty, but I like the other one better. Another plaid. Any time of year you could use that, of course. And then here are the wreaths with the spiced fruits on them. Just loving this palette this year. And then some more plaids. So nice. Just like this one that was in the other pack, but a smaller scale. Oh, I didn't even realize that. And that's it. Okay, so that one is called Holiday Spice. I also got one that I have been thinking about for a long time. This one is called Peace on Earth. You might have seen this one before, but I'll just do a quick flip through of this too. 24 sheets. This one is kind of like a Scandinavian feel, I think. It's got this blue uh, foliage print. This, um, well, it's a stripe, but the white part is kind of uneven. Pretty. And then you have these six by sixes. See all the Scandinavian elements in this? I really, really like that. So, you know, something different, completely different actually than Holiday Spice, but I love them both. And then you have this, oh, this is like a, a nice sweater, nice ugly sweater. All the different strips or just use it as is, of course. And then this page has all sorts of cute angels on it. I saw Michaels has this in like stickers and ephemera and gift bags, that sort of thing as well. Here's a nice diagonal stripe. Obviously you can use that anytime you want. And then you have this 12 by 12 happy holidays with the, the Scandinavian horses. There's a partridge with the pears. And then you have a red vine pattern. 
cute stock. Oh, this is cute. Stockings and mittens and bells. These, uh, this one also has gold foiling. I don't think I mentioned that before. And then all these cut aparts. That Santa is cute. Look at him. He's got snowshoes on. Really cute. Oops, sorry. Got stuck there. And you've got some little gnomies over here. Gina, look, gnomes. <laughs> Those are her favorite. <laughs> And okay, then we have this other layout page. You could totally cut this up and use it separately, not as a layout if you wanted to. Here's another stripe page. This one has um, gold metallic stripes, foiled stripes, and some pretty poinsettias. Gotta go faster here. Oh, this is cute. Look at that cup of hot cocoa with the gingerbread guy, with the snowflake border all around. There are those Nordic horses. I forget what they're called. If you remember, let me know. Another wreath with some cookies on it. Love these colors. They're really fun. And then you have the brightly colored snowflakes with gold foiling too. And here are some strips with all the different uh, images. And then we have some Christmas cookies on a red background. So cute. You know, sometimes you're in the mood to craft one way, sometimes another way. I am anyway. I envy you if you only do one style of crafting because then you don't have as much stuff. Okay, and here are tags. All different elements, different bright colors. Very pretty. And then there's a candy cane and mint page with a green background. This pretty layout page with the red houses. Looks like a little Scandinavian village. And then a pink and red foliage page. I love all the different varieties of this print. And that's the last one. Okay, so that was that pad. Peace on Earth, that one's called. So they were buy one, get two free. Um, I think that's all I got from Michaels. Yeah, that was it. All right, let's move on to the next one. I went to uh, Marshall's Home Goods. In my town, it's like a Marshalls and Home Goods together. So I picked up these alcohol markers by King Art. Um, they are they have a fine and chisel tip. There are twenty four unique colors, and I like this because they're all like like uh, flesh tone colors. You know, going from light to dark, everything in between. Um, I need more of those kind of colors in my alcohol ink collection. Um, I don't have like a, you know, a fancy collection or anything. I just pick up what I like. So hopefully these will be okay and um, they'll work with, um, you know, my projects. If anyone to use King Art brands, alcohol link markers, let me know what you think. Okay. I'd love to hear it. Oh, and that was uh, $19.99. Not bad for 24 alcohol link markers. Um, also there, what did I get? Oh, I got, um, I showed you that snowman baker last week. I got the matching spoon rest this week. I just thought it was so cute. And that was $4.99. This again is by the Grace Bake Shop. It's a nice big uh, spoon rest too. So I'll put that upstairs in my kitchen. And then I picked up this pack of Christmas cards and I just love the, the retro vintagey feel of them. These were $4.99. They're by Eleanor Stewart from London. And uh, yeah, they're really pretty. They had lots of different um, like retro vintage -y images, but I like this one the best. And I do um, make cards, of course, but, um, you know, like I give these to like the, you know, the newspaper guy and that kind of thing. So they're blank inside, um, but a nice thick quality. And plus I could use these as a base of projects too. So I was glad to get those. And that was it from Marshall's. Let me just... Um, move some stuff around. I'll be right back. Okay, to continue, I got this cute little set at Walmart. I just got this today, actually. Uh, today is Thursday. It was $9.98. This was the only one they had. Um, it is called, I don't know, just decor, I guess. So that's the code in case you're looking for it. But uh, it comes with, I guess they're like tear tray uh, decorating decorating items. That one has a flaw in the red paint there. It's not a chip, but maybe I could fix that. But it says peppermint mocha. It looks like a, you know, just like a little cup. It's got a sign that says authentic hand-rolled candy canes, Kringle Candy Company. It's got a red and white bead garland and these wood candy canes. So I thought that was so cute. And it was the only one they had, so I grabbed it. 
I also got these cute signs. They're yardstake signs, but I'm sure you could, you know, take the metal part off or the stick part off. They were $2.98 and I just love the vintagey look of them. This one is a snowman, obviously. It says, let it snow. I also got this one, which is Santa. It says, Merry Christmas. And then I got the deer as well. Let me separate these so they don't scratch each other. And this one says, Happy Holidays. So, so cute. I don't think I'll put them outside. Maybe I'll put them in some of like, I don't know, my bigger decor things around the house. But I'll probably end up just taking that um, stick thingy off. All right, so that was from Walmart. Um, from Joann's, I got a few things. Their Tim Holtz stuff is now 40% off, the Christmas stuff. And I did pick some up. I got um, these Distress Crayons in the um, red, silver, and green. I do have some other dis Distress Crayons, which I like, so I thought I would get those. I picked up these little bells. I thought they were so cute because some of them, they have jingle bells, but there's also like, like the traditional bell shape too. And they're so tiny. I thought those would be really cute on tags. And there's like, there's gold and silver ones, obviously antique looking, but all different kinds of bells. So I like that a lot. Um, I don't remember how much they were, you guys. They're not labeled. And then I picked up this pack of baseboards, it's called. Um, these are all the pieces that it comes with. They look like frames and, you know, chipboard pieces, really. Um, I guess that's what they mean by baseboards. But some sentiments, um, some, like, cute little ephemera pieces. And I do love the frames. That'll be great for mini albums. There's that. And then I also got this, which is the backdrops. And these are 24 double-sided sheets. So let me just open this up because I'm not exactly sure what this is. I assume it's a paper pack. But let's see. I just love the vintage -y look of the, um, the sample page. So yeah, it's a paper pack. And they are double-sided, like it said. And well, that was a different page. Oh, Okay, so nice. And this is an interesting size. They are uh, 6 by 10. So these are all the ones it comes with. Let me just fan them out. This video is getting super long, so I won't do a detailed look at all of them. But really nice for your vintage -y kind of projects. And they're a nice weight, too. Got some music sheets. So there's like that side. And then the other side would look like that. Oops, sorry about that. So these, these, yeah, they're nice and thick. I would say they're definitely 65 pound weight. So nice, right? I'm getting quite a good vintage paper collection. And Tim Holtz is great for that, especially around Christmas time. All right, so that was it from Joann's. I went to Hobby Lobby, and I mentioned in an earlier video this week, Hobby Lobby was completely wiped out of Christmas craft stuff. They had, like, a tiny little, like, part of an aisle with whatever they had left. And the cashier said that Black Friday weekend just, you know, everybody went insane and bought everything. So, and there was mu not much decor left either. They're actually getting their spring stuff out, so. But um, I did find these little cutting boards and they were 50% off. So instead of $3.99, they were $2. And I thought these would be great to like stamp a recipe on them and, you know, jazz them up with some bells and ribbon and give them as decor pieces. So I'm going to give that a try. And I like that they have like the snowflake burned into them. So I got two of those. So cute, right? So the only other thing I got was this pack of sleeves for my albums, and I keep my dies and binders, and uh, I use magnetic sheets. I did get in some magnetic sheets from Amazon. This is not the brand I usually get, but they weren't in stock for some reason, so I picked this up. It is a pack of, um, I think it's 25 adhesive magnet sheets. I don't use the adhesive, but I just use the magnetic sheet part. They're 8 by 10. I'll link them down below. Um, they seem fine. They're a little bit thinner than the ones that I usually get, but for dye storage, that really shouldn't be a problem. So, um, yeah, so I had to get more of those for my sleeves. <laughs> All right, so I think I have one more place to show you. I ordered from the Scrapping Cottage, which is Cottage Cuts. 
And I got a whole bunch of dies from there. It was Black Friday weekend. I forget if there was like a special or not. Probably, right? But anyway, let me show you what I got. I got this cute set of little jelly jars and um, just like jars. Um, it's called, let's see, Stitch Jars. And as you can see, they are stitched. And Cottage Cuts dies are usually pretty small, which, you know, is fine. And they come in a metal plate like this. So I will not be losing pieces, which is nice. And um, of course, I will show you when I get these cut out, but I haven't had a chance yet. So it comes with four different ones. And then I got this one. These are stitch numbers. And it actually said stitch jars right on the front, didn't it? Okay. But anyway, these are the numbers. I thought they'd be good to add to birthday cards for like, you know, appropriate um, ages and that sort of thing. Or you could even do years on it. So there's that one. And then I got this one. This one's called Stitched Fruit. And anything with stitching, I'm a sucker for. So it's got stitching all over the leaves and the fruit themselves. So cute, right? And then this one says Sweet as a Christmas Cookie. And that's the approximate size of everything. It's got the cute little gingerbread and an apron. And I just love that sentiment. That is so cute. So there's that one. And I think that one was the most expensive. Let me look at my receipt. Let me tell you, um, I'll tell you how much these were. Let me go on with this one. This one's called Baking Cookies. And this one also has a rolling pin and it's got a bowl that I liked and some dough, which was really cute and some cutout cookies. So this one was $2.24. Sweet as a Christmas cookie was $6.98. So that one was a lot more. Stitch fruit was $3.24. The stitch numbers was $2.49. Oops, sorry about that. And the mason jars was uh, $3.74. And I still have a few more to show you as well. This one was the cheapest. This one is called Sweet Filigree Cupcake. This was $1.74. And he's down there. Come on, don't be shy. All right, well, that's about how big it is. So a decent size, you know. And then I got Baking Spirits Bright. This one was 803, but this one comes with, um, it's big and it's got a lot of different elements on it. So cute, right? Those snowmen, oh, adorable, loved it. So there's that one. And then I got this one, which is a stamp and die set and it's called Sweet Gingerbread, Gingerbread Spice and Everything Nice, Sweet Holiday Wishes. And then it comes with all of those stamps. So, oh, okay, so those are stamps too, and the dies cut out the different cookies and stuff. So there's that one. And then the last one is this one called Santa's Cookies, and of course, it's so cute. I don't know when these came out, probably says, but I didn't notice. Oh, 2017 on this one, so it's not new. Um, so it comes with all these stamps and the matching dies. So I will hopefully get started on doing those. I was spending a lot of this week working on my DIY art bin store design team projects, which I just uploaded that video on Thursday. So um, if you haven't seen it, you can take a look if you'd like. I have like nine different projects on that one. So now I can get back to doing some things just for, you know, fun and my own uh, whatever I want to do. So not that I love doing design team stuff, but it does take up some time and uh, now I get to do other stuff. So that is it for this week, you guys. Thanks so much if you stuck around for this whole video. It was quite long, but um, hopefully I, I hear from a lot of you that you don't mind long videos. So that's good. I'm glad because I tend to make them. But anyway, that is it. Have a great weekend, you guys. I'll be back soon with another crafty video, of course, and um, I hope everybody's doing well. All right. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.